Hello everyone, welcome back to Stoneheart Me Banto. We're just getting attacked by a few little endlings here, so let's bring our souls over. And take that one so we can fight. So we got Kirito coming over, Lana Beer, and also Gwen to fight these guys. That was a really, really easy fight. That was really, really weak. And I see we got the new axe equipped here, so Kirito got a new axe. So he's got a good, good amount of damage. And also Gwen got this new Iron Maze, as we can see here. So in the latest episode, guys, I was uh, showing you guys the sawmill here that we made. And it seems like I got some positive response to that. And I've been uh, working out with a little bit of an idea to make it slightly different. And I might be changing some things with it. So this is what I changed it so far. So we'll see if you guys like it or if you don't like it. So what I did is to add this extra roof here. It goes like over the saw blade here and it slopes up to this one and connects here and I still have this roof under. So uh, I will see if I maybe will change so this roof actually goes together and uh, hits here instead. We will see if we do that. The biggest reason I did it like this instead of attaching it down here was mostly because this blade is uh, probably gonna hit the roof if we go too far down. It's only three blocks above it and I think I want to have a little bit of space between the blade and roof, it just feels pretty good to have that. So let me know guys, do you prefer this way? Or do you guys prefer this way? So another thing I did also was that I added a little living space in here. So this uh, is where maybe the carpet will be living at. And it could kind of work and also like Paldorian said, we could have done this uh, little bit of an L shape where, where we have like the living quarters could be here. So we just change the roof together with that a little bit. But I think this worked out pretty good. It's uh, not a huge amount of space, but I think it should be good enough. And then here we have some nice storage still and um, might be moving this one maybe. Let's do that so it sits a little bit better. So do I guess we can have it in the corner, but we just go without that one sitting in there. And then this one we could move maybe outside. It's removed for now, so I want to fill these with um, wood pretty much, we have a lot of wood to work with. But then we also need to have like an, a good place where we will be doing like the carpentry, like the work. And maybe we can uh, get this one away. Because I still have some wooden logs under here. So we still have that kind of feeling with uh, it being a sawmill, but maybe it looks better without the roof. Let me know guys if we should go with the roof here or without it. If we're gonna go without it, I can just um, remove it later and it will be a really quick thing to do. Let's see here, we're gonna add in some work benches. Then the carpet can be here working. It's gonna be awesome and I think we also should put our people to build our next house in town and... Um, should we do this one? I think we should do this one. There we go, we got plenty of wood, a decent amount of stones, so that should hopefully work. A message on an arrow appears on the banner. Little human, camp, search out your enemy while they're yet asleep. The one who watches you, creepy little fellow. Oh, we have so many bushes here, I almost want to like spread them out a little bit more, it doesn't look very nice like that. Um, I'm actually gonna do it, maybe? You can actually like decorate them like around town also, but I was thinking of maybe... Again, temporary road we have here, should we move them somewhere else? Always hard to know where you want to put your berry bushes. I think we just leave them there for now. Yes, we don't give them too much extra unneeded work. Oh, level 3 blacksmith pull for Paldorian, awesome. Let's see, that might mean we could actually make some better equipment. I don't think we have any... Helmets really, and so far it looks like we've only really done melt work, so we have been doing a lot of copper. But we need an anvil, I think we never... I think we should have one now, don't we? Okay, there we have it. So this one is gonna remain here for now, and maybe the blacksmith is a house that we can also do very soon, because it is, it is pretty much done really. And we might add in some more things later, but it is pretty much done. But it might be a bad idea to do double building projects at the same time. 
It could be um, a good idea to try to avoid that as much as possible. Have we been doing any mining here yet? We got the tin, and we were building a road. Up here it was. Oh, we never put to build it because we're chopping down a few trees, and we still have to remove that one. And also, the tree stump bug we had before should be fixed now, so Bruno, the guy that made the mod, has uh, done a quick fix for it, so it shouldn't be happening anymore. It was pretty much when you loaded the game, it um, added tree stumps from a previous tree stump, so that's why it kind of bugged out, and it shouldn't happen anymore, so that's really good to see. It looks like we've done a little bit of iron mining here, that's good. We need to get a lot of iron, because that's going to be a late game... Um, that we're gonna use for like weapons and armor. We do have a camp up here. I kind of feel like, oh yeah, we definitely should go here. That's the wolf camp. Oh, these guys actually still going outside the cage. I thought they fixed that. I know they made a post in the forums before about uh, fixing that. They wrote to me, but it seems like it's not fixed fully. That wasn't a long time. Okay, I think we will. I think we will be able to deal with them anyway. It'll be fine. I don't think these are as dangerous as uh, they might sound like. Snarling Wolf approaches. Let's see here. 200 HP and we got like... Uh, how much we had? 260. Gwen got 266. So they're not really that... not really that dangerous. We're gonna go to this place also when we're gonna vanquish these goblins. Trade it back in 31 hours. I hope we will have those doors ready because that would be really good to go and get a few more of those uh, iron mails. I'm not sure how many we will be using, but it's, it's still a good trade in if not can use it because we can always sell them and stuff. Let's go smash the hut. Okay, now we don't have a home anymore. Now we're gonna get away to a little campfire. See what we got here. We got some uh, shorts, so that's pretty good. So that should be a weapon for the night. We got some gold or gold ingots. We got some ornate park banish. That's cool. That's nice. And also an, an bronze circlet for our cleric. But it looks like we already have the steel one equipped, so we don't really need that. But I prefer to have like two clerics later, so that's gonna be good to have another circlet already. The way I like to go with my army is to have two clerics and two knights and uh, then I go for like maybe two footmen, so one archer, or I will go without footmen. But uh, I think for Ogre Skullbanker, because you have a lot of goblins, it's totally worth to have a lot of footmen. Because they have the cleave attack that uh, is really good. Look at here, they're looking so nice. And they're using the benches as well. Looking great this autumn, looking awesome. Daily update? Awesome, we beat it. Okay, let's see who joins. Two Billy Parts has joined. We'd like to get a few more guys to join. Six Body and Six in Spirit. That is um, probably a really, really good soldier. Nine wooden chairs for one comfy bed. Um, I don't feel like I want to put a time for that. I think I'd rather be crafting other stuff. And help with building, because the carpenter can help with building. Um, we got a lot of work is actually building now, that's good to see. But since we have so many workers, it's sometimes good to take a few of them and pretty much just remove the building part. And that way they can focus on mining or hauling things. So Tulip here, let's see who that's gonna be a name for. So I'm gonna go with the Casper the Ghost from the previous town. So if you guys have like... Um, some girl names or any other name, but the girl names, since we're getting a lot of girls, it would be good. I will batting you. I have uh, a few free spots still still in the town to be named. So I wonder where we wanna where we wanna have this later on. Because I don't think it should be like too close in town. It would be better if it's a little bit outside. Like it could be all the way over here if you want to. Or yeah, just a little bit further away when we go like along this road. So maybe we could uh, just take and drag out this road a little bit more. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I spoke with you guys and asked if we should do the storage house next, so I started with this one. So we definitely wanted to get a storage house. I wonder if we should do them at the same time. Uh, can we handle two of them? Let's give it a go and see if we can. Because we definitely need that storage. But uh, then we would have this road to continue here and uh, probably not build it yet because... Uh, or at least I guess we could build it a little bit, maybe. But we would have to go without a few of these parts. Like these sides, or maybe not all the sides, but a lot of it. Because we don't know if we're gonna turn the road somewhere. But at least there we're not gonna do it. And the same here. So we can pretty much keep these parts for now. And we can build that. Gonna go the same we've got here. Like so. And I do have like a kind of like a trapper house from before that we maybe could use. I kind of like that one. This is not this one. This is the basic trapper house. It actually looks quite good to be honest. Um, is it really? I think this might actually be from the trapper plus mod. So it probably isn't actually from the base game. I could be wrong though. I'm just thinking because I see these uh, drying frames. It should be from the Trapper Plus and that block and everything, so. It's under one of my Viking houses, pretty much. This was one of the buildings I was thinking we could have with the Trapper. Because it feels like a little bit of more of a uh, remote set house. So I used this one for kind of for like some Viking town and it worked out pretty good. It's very, very basic and then we could like... Maybe set up the trapper field, like move it over here to the wilderness instead. So we would have the trapping maybe behind the house here. A big zombie there, maybe we should deal with him. And we do maybe something like that. And then maybe we just move the trapper's house a little bit. Maybe a little bit more into the forest. You can have it at the side there maybe. And then we can shove down a few trees here and maybe make a little bit of space for perhaps a sawmill that we want to have. So that will be a little bit outside. It wouldn't be so good like for the town for speed and stuff to have the carpenter out there. But since we have the banner of cunning it would actually run really fast so it's not sure it's going to be affecting us too much to have it here. It depends if we want to make it like look um, realistic. So do you guys think we should have this sawmill outside here next to the trees? Some tree stumps and things through, or do you guys think we should have it more like more kind of centered, maybe like next to this house? Even I wonder if I can fit it there. I still kind of feel like I want to do this one because it shows more like this where the saw is. Let me know, guys. It feels like it should be a little bit further out. I'm gonna chop down a few trees. We can move it a little bit further out. The weird thing, if you plant trees in autumn, it seems like if you put them out, they would actually go green. I'm not sure how long they will stay green, but uh, <laughs> it will be green and uh, break everything else around. Jeff can't find any food. And he's the cook and he can't find the food. Good job, Jeff. You're doing a great job for us. Okay, we got stone oven. I'm gonna put this out as well. And maybe remove that one. It's kinda sitting over the farm field, so it's gonna be in a way. I hope they're doing some work here now. I have some problem recently with some crafters getting stuck with things. But it looks like the weaver's doing stuff, so that's good to see. But I might want to go ahead and uh, make a lot of spool of thread. Let's make a lot of it. Let's use all, up all that silk so we can progress. Pending refugee. The wolves in the woods run away while you still can. Okay. Let's see. How, where did they put down the camp this time? Okay. Kind of the same place as before pretty much. A little bit closer. <laughs> and the farmer is going out. Fuck nugget. I'm, I'm going to go here. I'm gonna fight some wolves. I'm not scared of you. Maybe I am.
It's almost like I should put my troops on a guard duty up here because this is where really where most of the fighting is taking place for us. We had like the goblin camp and we have the, the wolf camps here. Let's see if we what we're gonna get in this treasure. It's gonna be awesome. Hopefully something nice. Ooh, pointy and shiny, a long sword. I take that. Break this cage. Yip yip ooh. Okay, there we go. I think there's one more goblin. Here we go. It's really cool, by the way, if you do have the Northern Kingdom mod, you will have this smoke going up from the, like, the fireplace and your fireplace inside the houses. And if there's like goblin camps around, you will also see them around the map because they also give out this smoke real high up. We've got eight more hours, then we will have to have those wooden doors ready. Let's see, so we actually do have them ready. I think they should be ready. Why is he crafting this window before the door? That's kind of strange. I wonder if we have the doors then. Let's check out the carpenter and see what he's doing. Peter, what are you doing? Moving items, collecting ingredients. I think it would be a good idea for now to... I guess this kind of works, but maybe it would be better to have it sitting there. But what we should do is to take one of these stockpiles that you can make sure to resupply with items. It looks like we don't have any for the moment. The Pretty much the shelves that we can craft. Because those you can assign like, oh, I want to have these kind of items on these. So always try to make sure you do have them items fully supplied here. Which is uh, pretty, pretty good. And it does help a lot because then the carpenter, for example, doesn't have to run around collecting wood everywhere. And uh, that is pretty good. And also using this one, the wood finished workshelf is also really good. Because with that one you can just drop off their crafted things directly instead of going around the town like everywhere and to find like a uh, crate to put it. We'll do it like that and then we're gonna do some... And then we're gonna do some benches. And then we're gonna do some shelves and put some wood on those. Okay, looks like we got one. So this supply rack, we're gonna put them, um, let's see here, maybe there. So it won't be so much running, just back and forth here. When it starts working, when this one has enough wood in it. Okay, so there we got the shelf. And uh, we're gonna assign this one to have wood. So our harfling will try their best to make sure this one is uh, supplied with the wood. Yes, they can't find any food. I can't find any food. And we got a daily update. Let's hope it's gonna be a guy joining today. That's inverse. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of girls, so some of you guys are gonna have to be girls. Uh, but this girl has four mind, three in spirit and one in body. We got the animal companion trait, so that's good. I will wait with naming this one, so if I get some more girl names, I will be taking those first and uh, try to reserve the ones that is for guys to be named later instead. It's like they're not cleaning up here, I still wonder if they can actually do it or if there's like... if there's like too much to walk around. So I'm just gonna move a few of these bushes actually. And I'm gonna put some of them like uh, kind of far away over here. Okay, there we go. And uh, let's see, let's take... Um, 
Let's take these as well. So that should be good. I think I might move these. Maybe we can move them over here in the wilderness. Yes, yeah, kind of like spread them out a little bit. I kind of like the idea of having a bit of bushes around here where you are trapping. I wish the, uh, like the biome was generated with a more like a little bit more random with the bushes because when you find them like four or six of them just perfectly aligned with each other, that is in nature, right? At least I don't think so. So let's take this trapper field. We're gonna remove that one, and then this one we want to trap some small animals. And we should also move all this stuff over. So where did I have the house? Okay, it's sitting here for now. Uh, these two trees gotta go. If you wonder what this thing is, if you don't have it, it's called the Box Command Tool. And uh, what I heard, it's going to be a part of the new Project Ace. That's uh, It's a community expansion product that enhances and expands the game. That's going to be part of that later on as well. But this one's called Box Command. It allows us to move a lot of things really quickly, as you can see here. And it's something that I feel, personally, is really hard to play without once you have used it. So let's see, we want to have these racks sitting maybe here. I think the smoker I'm gonna... I'm gonna have a fairly close to the house. Oh, that's really, really close. Probably gonna move it like one block or at least turn it around, we'll see. Maybe a little bit further away would be good. And I think we could pretty much already do this house, but we're building so many things right now. So they haven't done much with this one, seems like they have one block here. And if this does happen to you sometime, uh, saving a load in the game usually helps with that, and we also dig out the very last part of it. But this house looks like it's pretty much almost done. Missing some small case and wooden barrels. So let's do a little save and a load then. Okay, so we're back again, and I think they will probably most likely start to dig this one out. Oh, we got some invaders. Oh, they're taking this way. That's kind of rare. They usually always come from mountain. Look at that spin. Gotta love that cleave attack with that axe. It's really useful. Ooh, a Varanis. Is that the new thing? Like, first you get some Entlings and then you get a Varanus? Feels like that is second time it has happened. It feels like they're synced with each other. Cleric level 6, that is awesome. That's gonna be very, very useful when you're fighting the, like, the Orcs and Ogres. And the Kobolds. And let's see how far away we are from actually being able to get a knight. So we need to get iron ingots. Um, let's see, we're gonna queue up to do a few of those. Move them up there, and then we're gonna do a shield. Gonna move it to the very top, so when they have this ready, have enough of those to do the shield, then we go and do that instead. At least that is the way it's supposed to work. And let's see here, we do have to do two pies as well, it's gonna move that up as well. And I do want to get some uh, new helmets, we only have some, I think that's leather helmet. So we can do two in bronze. I'm gonna drop that just below that one. Artemis can't find any food. But you're already eating, so what are you talking about? <laughs> I can't find it, it's just right in front of me. Where did it go? <laughs> Silly halflings. But I think our town is uh, like, it's still a little bit of mess around here with the bears and stuff. But I definitely feel like it's, um, it's starting to look a lot more clean than it used to do. That's always a welcome sight for the town. 
And I wonder if we should maybe like get another... I was about to say another trapper, but we have a lot of... a lot of meat. So maybe we just need to do more farming. And we might maybe need another farm. Let's see if we can do some corn, that would be nice. And I don't think we have to grow as many flowers anymore, so I'm going to switch this one out to be corn. Because we already have some pink flowers here. And we also have all these pink flowers, so I'm not even sure if we need this one. And there is a mod that adds like auto-harvesting. And um, I never really used it, I'm not sure how good it works, but I, I will try to sum it someday. But that one you can like put for your bushes to be auto-harvested, and I think it also works for your flowers and silkweed, so it can be really useful. So instead of um, relying fully on the farms, you can rely more on the like, wildlife with auto-harvest, so I think that could be really useful. So I might take a check for that someday. Let me know, guys, if you have used it and if you like it, and if it works good for you. So it looks like they've done a little bit of building here, that's good to see. This house is done, that's a really even more awesome to see. Really happy about that. Because now it's starting to look more like a town. Like, the more buildings we got, the more it's starting to look like a town. Let's see what we need for this one. Looks like we need to get a little bit more stone. We can have a lot of chests, but we already have a lot of them. So it should be... Should be pretty good on that side already. Let's go check the mountain. We might want to do a little bit more mining. and also want to do the road here if we can do it. Okay, probably have... Ooh, it's probably these boxes. And let's make sure here. So we're gonna have stone. And we're gonna have ore. And that's the only thing we can have in these. Just so our people don't start like running out here to drop other things. Because that would be quite pointless. But we also have to move these. We probably can't build this road just because these are sitting on top of the road pretty much. So that can be better. And uh, I guess we could... Let's shove this down, just to be sure. That you're not sitting on a road or anything. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can do the road now. Nice! So that's gonna be a lot faster when we're gonna travel. It's gonna be awesome. It's so worth to, like to do these roads, it goes so much faster. A message on an arrow appear on the banner. There are wolves in the forest. Goblin wolves. Get them before they get you. The one who watches you. Creepy fellow is back again. So where do we have the wolves this time? Oh, they're on this side. Banto is saying that they're coming from the mountain all the time, so they switch side. And here's another big zombie. Oh, nice, we had the troop pretty close, so we're getting here fast. Oh, he died really quick. The power of a high-level footman and the good equipment. Oh, some nice um, rugs. An ornated uh, bench again, nice. Let's break this one. And we should really look into, like, who's going to be the next foot footman as well. Oh, did I mean I think I missed the trading. Oh, I definitely missed that one. I tend to do that, I don't know why, I just miss it. That's a pretty good one, I'm going to try to uh, remember to <laughs> click it once it pops out. I tend to miss them all the time. I just think it isn't as visible as it should be, I tend to always miss them. Because you're always busy with something in this game. We'll see if we'll be able to do that one or not. We have a lot of other crafting to be done. It would be nice to get those comfy beds, but uh, it will be fine if we, if we don't get it. Off upgrade makers, we are so close, guys. And we do have some market stalls. We can actually beat the half upgrade goal today. I wonder where my troops who, like went back. They still had a little bit of fighting to be done. Guess they didn't need to go and eat and stuff. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, see here if we can get some market stalls and we might be having them in town later, we will see. 
The thing I don't like about the markers, the only, like the only thing I don't like about them, is that when you turn these around, they don't hook the same pretty much. It's um, it's kind of weird. But I think I will add one here. And then we'll do another one sitting at this side. See here so we can get them the same. I think they're sitting the same now, I think. So with that one we can call in merchants to do trading. Another one, 22 people, a guy joins finally, Luca with 4 body, 3 spirit and 1 in mind. Let's see who this is going to be done. This guy is going to be Ectoplasmic52, welcome to the town, hope you get an amazing time with us. Okay, looks like it's going good there, but let's set in a merchant, I want to beat the daily, I want to beat the half upgrade goal. Joe Boxen, hello dude. I'm gonna just gonna sell this one, or maybe should we sell the rugs? Sell a few rugs, and that should be good enough. But I guess we can sell something more. Has to be a hundred percent. I'm gonna clean out a few flowers actually. Mithril ore, not something we'll be using, not now at least. Okay, so that should be good enough. Let's check out the half upgrade. There we go, guys. Let's click it. Settlement established. Bentonia is now a level 2 town. Celebration, guys. Look at that. Bentonia is growing. This is so nice to see all of them just coming together like this. Look at that, guys. Looking awesome. An enemy is coming in to ruin the fun. <laughs> but there we go, guys. Upgraded the half. Finally, bound to got it. So nice to see. But, guys, this is gonna be it for today. So, we ended pretty good, I would think, with an half upgrade. I'm really happy to see that. But let me know about the sawmill, guys. Do you think we should have the roof here? Do you think we should go without the roof? And do you also think we should have it outside here, more in the forest? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I will be back with more Stone Hearth and other games soon as well. So thanks for watching, hope you had a good time and hope to see you next time. Take care everybody!